Greetings, I am Rob Chappers and today I'm going to tell you all about these really cool, unusual and slightly unique Chapman guitars. Chappers! You say on almost every video over the last sort of six or seven videos, what is this guitar? Well, I'm here to tell you what this guitar is and give you an insight into some of the methods that I have here at Chapman Guitars for coming up with cool designs for new guitars, Chapman guitars of the future. As it's really hot in here, as you well know, it is uh, cue stripping music. Um, as you know, Chapman guitars is a collaborative guitar company. We listen to what everybody says, all the feedback, the comments, texts, emails, um, whenever we do the polls. We're a collaborative guitar company. They are designed with your wishes uh, in, in our minds. And I like to take it a bit further than that. And whenever I see a really cool modified Chapman guitar, uh, sometimes, and this has happened two or three times now, I'll buy it from the guy or girl that purchased that guitar. <laughs> This is example number one. As you can probably tell, this is one of the, the classic um, first line Korean ML1 Chapman guitars. And um, so second run, the first run was China like 10 years ago, and then we bought them out in Korea. Now I can tell um, because it says on the back of the headstock, uh, and also from some of the timbers and the way the frets are and that kind of thing, I can, I can see from the materials and the build um, that that's what this was. But if you look at the body and you ignored the neck and the headstock, you'd be forgiven for thinking it was something completely different. The awesome guy that took this guitar and carved it did loads of cool things to it. Now actually, he came to a gig that Dorje was playing and, um, and asked us to sign it. So we've all signed it on the back, uh, Beer, Dave, Ben and myself. And, um, and then in the signing process, I was like, dude, this is really cool. What have you done? And he explained that he'd taken the pickups out and changed them, modified them, done all the electronics. This is a push-pull, um, you know, single or hum and all that kind of stuff. And there's rubber grip on it. And it just, it struck me as being quite a creative electronics job alone. And then he'd gone to the enormous trouble, and it is enormous trouble, of carving this body to create almost like a mini offset. And I really liked that. So um, not too long after having seen this guitar, I reached out to him and purchased the guitar. Um, and yeah, I'm really happy. I play it sort of fairly frequently. And I'm using this as kind of um, a skeleton to throw flesh on for what will be coming up is, is a, an offset Chapman Guitars uh, voting poll based upon some of the ideas of this, which is really exciting. So I don't just take uh, comments and emails, I physically meet people and then take a look at what they've done to their Chapman guitars and kind of bring it on board. Again, another example of that is this beautiful ML3 Traditional, uh, another Korean Chapman guitar. And this time, um, I mean, you might know it's a Chapman kind of immediately from the body shape and the carve, but the pickups have been changed and the body has been beautifully altered. I really like this. It's kind of like that faded, worn denim kind of vibe. <laughs> I think I'm writing something here, man. I, I, it's got a vibe. It's kind of 
I'm borrowing something from, from Zep and uh, I want to try and use it in Clockwork Wolf and Company. What do you think? Well, I think actually probably I should send that clip to Zach Comtois and Jack and Chris and, uh, and then get their feedback. That might be interesting. Such a really satisfying beard to do that with. I'm actually thinking about trimming this beard back a little bit because it's just a bit, you know, it's a bit excessive. But um, I don't know. What do you think? You let me know. Help me, I'm, I'm trapped. I love the look of the colour and the feel. It reminds me a lot of <clears throat> when PRS made the Fader Blue Jean Modern Eagle. It's the guitar that got away. I always wanted one and it was satin finished. And this, it doesn't film very well because the camera just wants it to be either too bright or too dark, but it's a beautiful looking colour. In fact, I think if it was glossed, the colour would pop a lot more. Um, and what I liked was that not only did you done the, the, the sort of the finish, the color, the texture, and it's like a, a, a driftwood kind of vibe, but he'd also taken off the, the control tip and then wrapped gaffer tape around this. And although at first glance I thought, oh, that's a bit cheap, having used it a few times, man, it's really practical. And I mean, it's, <laughs> you're never gonna run out of gaffer tape. <laughs> Obviously he changed, put a little flick switch here. Uh, although I initially thought these pickups were upside down, actually they're not, just the covers are upside down. But yeah, another cool guitar that I reached out and bought from him um, as inspiration for new models that Chapman will be allowing everybody, or asking everyone to vote on, and even some models that we just made, taking into mind all of your suggestions and comments. I mean, sometimes, we get an overwhelming number of people just saying, could you please make more guitars that are purple? Or could you please make more baritone guitars? And in that instance, it's not even worth having a vote. We're just being asked to make a thing. And so we're like, sure, we'll make a thing for you. No problem at all. <laughs> I'm on the lookout for innovative, cool, customized versions of these guitars. So if you find one, if you see one, or if, you have, if you've got one, please comment in the comment section below me right here with a link so I can go take a look. I'm always looking for inspiration for Chapman guitars. And there's gonna be lots and lots of cool new Chapman stuff kicking off um, around January around the NAMM show, um, because it's Chapman's 10th anniversary. We, we would have been around um, in one form or another for 10 years. Can you believe that? It's crazy. It, it just feels like yesterday I was in a different bedroom uh, holding up an original ML1 saying, man, I can't believe we, we're gonna make 500 of these. And um, yeah, now we sell more than that every month. It's crazy. Thank you so much to all of you for supporting Chapman Guitars, and I really hope 
that because we collaborate together, we can build gradually a brand that does all sorts of things that you ask for, and we can kind of get a bit closer doing that. You guys take it easy. Chap is considerably out. <laughs> That guitar. Let's play some on this guitar. Whoa, that was loud. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate your support. And just to let you know, if you're interested in learning guitar or vocals or more about gear or anything in my crazy random life, I've just launched memberships and you can join by clicking on the link in the show more section just below here. I've got four different levels, eight gauge, nine gauge, 10 gauge, and 11 gauge. They're all different, but they include cool things that allow me to interact more with you. Take it easy, chappers out.